It's a wick, right? Wicks are treated as a gap or inefficiency. So if we treat this range, when I'm watching price move higher or lower, I'm looking at every single wick. When price was up here, and if we thought price was going to go higher, go look at all of the times I'm trading. When I'm doing my executions, I'm adding pyramiding. If there's a wick that it's trading back down into, you'll see me entering at it. Look where it goes, right there. And what is that little movement below it? What's that called? A mohawk. It's perfectly permissible. That's exactly what the algorithm is going to want to do to offer what? Smart money that that has an algorithm that's going to handshake with it. What's this over here? What's this right here? Same thing, right? Same thing this is. So if you look at both of them, what is it doing here? It's overshooting this one, but it has to refer back to this one as well because it's also a wick. So it's a gap. Two consecutive gaps in the form of a wick. So you have to look at that. That's real fucking order flow. You're not going to see that on a depth of market. You're not going to see that on ladders. You're not going to see it on volume profile. That's not. You're, you're not even looking at this stuff. You're not looking at this. But I am, and I'm executing on it. My entries are fucking phenomenal. They're consistent. They keep happening all the time using the same logic. I'm teaching you how I'm doing it. If you're bullish, you're looking at these levels. Even if you have already positioned your entire trade and you're not going to add anything more, you're still going to look at price like this. As it's forming in each new candlestick, does it go down to that level? Okay, it's going past a little bit. Okay, it shouldn't, shouldn't go beyond that. Now it should start to reverse here and create a long wicked you know, candlestick bottom or low, or what we call it a tail, I guess. 